The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Gentlemen, and welcome to television's most exciting hour, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. I'm John Roberts, alongside United Television Champion Dan Joseph. And Dan, this week we're going to take a very special look at something, well, that you know very well. One of my favorites tag team matches, the Tag Team Championships. That's right, the United World Tag Team titles are going to be featured this week on the program. Mm -hmm. Dan, you know a little something about Tag Team I Gold. Mean, as a member of Pac-3, we held on to those titles for almost as long as anybody. I think there might have been one team, maybe. Well, Dan, we have a very special treat for you. The main event this week, we're going to show a Pac-3 matchup. All right, sounds good. Can't wait to see it. But before we get to that, we've got a very special matchup featuring the longest reigning Heritage Tag Team Champions, The Tribe. That's right, Hawaiian Lion and Navajo Warrior. Now, Dan, you know these guys yeah. very well. Yeah, two big boys. I love to throw their weight around. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. They were the longest reigning ever Heritage Tag Team Champions. And, of course, the Heritage Tag Titles became the United Tag Team Championships. Let's take a look at the Tribe. The Tribe back together. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the Hollywood Heritage Tag Team Championship. And it's coming for one ball. Introducing first the challengers, accompanied to the ring by Sylvia. At a total combined weight, 485 pounds, Rico Dynamite, Tito Escondido, Los Bandidos! Their opponents, Accompanied to the ring by Olivia at a total combined weight, 522 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hollywood Heritage Tag Team Champions, Navajo Warrior, Hawaiian Lion, the Tribe. One of the most long awaited championship matches in the history of this program. The Tribe been ditching challengers for months now but to their credit they have been champions on this program for almost two years if you can believe that it is amazing the tribe have dominated the tag team division here in championship wrestling from hollywood this one is going to be violent it's going to be bloody it's I mean, going to be brutal those tag team titles have really become synonymous with the tribe Stu. like i said the tribe have been champs for coming on two years here one of the longest championship runs in any promotion of any kind. And these two have been in a collision course for a long time. Los Bandidos came to, came to fight. Tito Escondido and the Navajo Warrior on the outside. This one's a brawl and you know Stu, that's what we expect from these two teams. That's what we're, we're used to seeing. When these two teams battle, it seems that the ring can't contain them. <laughs> You're, you're damn right, and why should it? Let these guys go out there, let them beat each other to a pulp till we have a winner. Undisputed champs. Whoever's wearing the tag team championships should be the toughest men in town, shouldn't they be? They should. Nobody's safe out here. I think I and see Hawaii my brother-in-law out there. Hawaiian Lion and Rico Dynamite paired off. Tito Escondido and the Navajo Warrior. Oh! Big atomic drop on Rico Dynamite and of course Sylvia. What do you know, Olivia referee losing control of a main event. Things have been out of control lately. Someone has needs the, to take a look at John Has Ian. the bell even rung yet? Is this match I even mean, underway no. officially? Uh, someone needs to, to, to evaluate John Ian and what he has done to this program. Oh. He has lost control of it. Referees have no control. This is supposed to be a main event championship match and all we have is a brawl. It definitely has been uh, very chaotic lately here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. It seems that the inmates are running the asylum, doesn't it? Definitely. Choking him with the flag there. Big raunchy Rico. He's got gold on his mind. Oh, oh. right into the steps. That's Meanwhile, right. 
Tito Escondido taking a boot. I've lost. I can't keep up with this. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you know, this matchup can't end. Uh, they can't win the, the titles here. by disqualification or count out. Is the right referee going to get control of this or not? Again, a chaotic situation here in our main event on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. But I, 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 I don't know what to make of this. Referee Rick Finally, Knox is look at trying this. to get Are things under control. Are we going to actually ring a bell and start this match? Again, ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is not officially underway as of yet. You're giving a lot of leniency there. Referee, I gotta commend him on that for not throwing this out. This is a big money match, a big, a big right. ticket match. The bell finally rings. All right. And these people are in for a fight for the Tag Team Championships. Well, this is physical. It was physical from the get-go. Physical outside the ring, physical in the ring. That's what you're gonna get from these two teams. A lot of fists are going to be flying. Oh, good suplex by the Hawaiian Lion. And of course, we have not seen the Hawaiian Lion in a couple months, Stu. Hawaiian Lion has been off doing peyote or whatever the hell it is that he does. Seems to be back, though. Looks like Hawaiian Lion. Of course, we've seen, you know, I don't know what, what the situation was. You know, Navajo Warrior having to get uh, substitute partners, teaming with Thunderwolf on a couple of occasions. But now we got Hawaiian Lion back, Navajo Warrior here, the tag team champions are in the house, defending against Los Bandidos. And Los Bandidos, as you said, Stu, they got their mind on bringing some gold home. You know what I love the most about the tribe? What, 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 Stu? They don't have to pay taxes. What, what? Come on, Stu. Oh, this is real. But I'll tell you what, they do pay receipts, and Escondido and Rico have had this coming for a long time as well. Oh. Look at that. The violence between these two teams. Gold on the line, I love it. And now Hawaiian Lion with a cover, only a two count. And the Tribe have been so impressive in their tag team title reign, haven't they, Stu? I mean, they've defeated everybody. They literally have. The Happening. They have. They've defeated, uh, again, Los Bandidos. They defeated Fresh to Death. They defeated Natural Selection. That was a different Los Bandidos that they defeated. This is a new, newly focused, newly energized, even more bigger and better, if you can even imagine, and nastier Los Bandidos. And they but defeated right now, the Family Stone. James I don't want to talk about that. Watts. Shut your mouth. That was a long time ago. Right now, Hawaiian Lion and Navajo Warrior doing a good job of shutting down Ranchi Rico. And double team there by the tribe. There's Rico Dynamite. Tagging in Tito Escondido. It's been all the tribe so far. And you gotta think, we talked about the fact that Los Benditos had been down this road before. What do they do this time differently? What plan of attack do they come in this time to get the job done? Well, whatever they're doing is not working thus far, and they may want to rethink whatever that plan was. On the receiving end of Chops Galore here, from the Lion and the Warrior, the tag champs are in, they're looking real sharp today. Looks Hawaiian like Hawaiian Lion hasn't missed a step. Hawaiian Lion with the cover. And again, Olivia and Sylvia at ringside. They're the, they're the X Factors. You never know what kind of role they're gonna play in this matchup. Ready for action in the squared circle. Stars from around the wrestling world. And we are witnessing a classic between two of the best. We have made history here tonight. Look at this atmosphere, incredible. We're gonna come out here and find out who the real man is. Yeah! yeah. Look at the pomp and circumstance. From coast to coast and around the globe. The history's gonna be made. Pulaski Kirkers sponsors this paid advertisement for legal services.
and is responsible for legal services. Attention, have you or a loved one suffered from pigmentary maculopathy, which is a serious retinal injury? After taking the prescription drug Elmiron for interstitial cystitis or bladder pain syndrome? Call 1-800-943-3072. You may be entitled to significant compensation. In 2018, a researcher at the Emory School of Medicine linked Elmiron, a prescription drug that treats interstitial cystitis or bladder pain syndrome, to maculopathy, which is sight-threatening and can cause an abrupt change of vision, difficulty adjusting to dim light, and difficulty reading. If you were prescribed Elmiron and suffer from damage to your vision, call our law firm for a free legal consultation you may be entitled to significant compensation. There are no fees unless we win your case and collect damages for you. Call 1-800-943-3072. That's 1-800-943-3072. And again, Tito Escondido, Rico Dynamite, they got to do something. They don't want history to repeat itself. They want to wrestle those tag team titles away from the tribe. They want to end this historic reign. It has been all the tribe thus far dominating performance by the champs. Tito Escondido, oh! Wow! Here comes the Navajo Warrior. Covers. No! Oh, almost had bad. him. How almost close was that? Him. Look at the chest of Tito Escondido. And now, oh! Hawaiian lion with that chop. And I'll tell you, the tribe looking like a very well-oiled machine, Stu. Tell you, the tribe looking great. I'll tell you who else is looking great. Olivia on the outside looking great. Va, 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 voom. <laughs> You're a fan of Olivia, aren't you? Yeah. You like all the ladies here in Championship Wrestling. Well, not all of them. I don't like you. Oh, there we go. And this is what Los Bandidos has been waiting for. Ooh, oh! Big senton splash by Tito Escondido. Covers only gets a two you know, count. These guys, this is why you gotta love them. You give Los Bandidos an opening, they kick the door right down. Enrico Dynamite Tito Escondido showing that aggression, showing that aggression that has made them successful here on this program, in this company. I mean, this is what Los Banditos has been dreaming of ever since they were little, little itty bitty Banditos to be the tag champs. That's right. Here we go. Rico Dynamite. And Dynamite and Escondido now all over the tribe. And ladies and gentlemen, it really is amazing when you look at the tribe. They won these titles back on July 10th, 2011, Stu Stone. Is that when they won it? July 10th, 2011. So as Stu Stone point out, nearly two years. That's crazy. I've had about six girlfriends and four ex-girlfriends since then. To put it in perspective. Do the math on that. I'm doing Crowd getting behind the tribe here. And Rachi Rico trying to turn the lights up for good for the Hawaiian Lion. And again, Rico Dynamite, Tito Escondido trying to wrestle away the tag team titles from the tribe, trying to do what no one has been able to do before them. Trying to end this over 18 month reign. Where did you get that information? Is there a, you have a I do my or research. Something? I do my research, Stu. So oh, no. We talked about the reign of the tribe, and it, you know, it's been absolutely incredible. Tito saying they're coming home tonight. Someone better get cash for gold on speed dial. This gold might be going home. The tribe, you know, I'm sure they're gunning for that two year mark. They want to be champions for two years. You said it, they're almost there. What is that, the aluminum anniversary? I don't know, I'm not sure. Oh! oh. There's Hawaiian Lion. Oh, look at that. Cutting off the ring right there. There you go. I know Tito He's Escondido. making the Hawaiian Lion look more like Simba. Well, he's keeping the Hawaiian lion on the wrong side of town. That's what he's doing. Or the right side of town if you're uh, Los Bandidos. Hakuna Matata. 
There's some What chops. a wonderful phrase. Yes. I'll tell you, no, nothing, nothing wonderful here for the Hawaiian Lion right now. No. This definitely isn't wonderful. Oh, oh, big double team flapjack. And it's Mahalo to the Hawaiian Lion. Will this be it? New champions. No. Almost had him. Olivia's got to be getting nervous. The tribe has got to be getting nervous. This thing is slipping away from them. Oh, we've seen we've seen them in this situation, Stu. They have battled back from adversity time and time again. You gotta believe there's a lot left in the tank of these guys. You gotta believe it. You gotta believe it. At the same time, we don't even know how active Hawaii Lion has been. We haven't seen. We don't. You're him. right. We be, don't. You know what I mean? He might be coming back from an injury we don't even know about. We haven't seen them team together. We don't know what their what the status of the Hawaiian Lion truly is. We don't know is. if he's 100. Looks like he got 100% of that forearm, though. And this is an exchange of two of the toughest men on the planet. Oh! oh wow. They have knocked he a tooth out. Him. Oh! Devastating. Bruno clothesline by the Hawaiian Lion. And this is it. This is their opportunity. There's the battle cry from the Navajo Warrior. This crowd would love to see a tag. And here comes here the comes. warrior! The Navajo Warrior! Navajo Double warrior. chops! Close line city! Another chop! We've seen them do this time and time again. That's what they're all about. Oh! Broken arrow! Wow! How awesome is that? Oh, here we go. And this could be the beginning of the end. He's awakening the spirits. Navalanche! Oh, man. We've seen this time and time again over the last almost two years. The tribe won. Do we got him? Uh oh. Save the match right there. Tito Escondido. That could have been it. That's right, Stu. He did save the match. I got no doubt about that. Here comes Hawaiian Lion. Oh! oh! Crane Buster! Calls that the Volcano Buster, and he drove him right down on his head. Maybe another for Rico. Rico Dynamite. Oh, oh. German suplex. Yeah, this is awesome. When we talked about the physicality, that's exactly what we're getting. Wait a second. Wait a second, Stu. Tino Escondido choking the line on the outside of the ring. Navajo's got him up for the Spicoli driver on the inside. There's Olivia distracting the referee. Oh, what's happening in the ring? Oh! Oh, no, he kicked him downstairs. Low, low. Double team chips. super kick. Cover him. One, Brutus two. My yes. God! New champions. They did it. Los Mantinos have done it. They stole the titles. New champions. Los Mantinos. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your winners and New Heritage Tag Team Champions, Los Padino! Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe, we can't believe what we just saw. New champs! July 10th, 2011, the Tribe won those titles. Oh, oh, over a year and a half later, they have finally Locked lost them. In. But let, listen, wait a second, Stu. Let's make one thing clear. Those titles were stolen. Start the stolen fiesta. from the Tribe! New champs, Los Bandidos, baby! My name's Tom. I've been a homeowner for 19 years, and I've also been with First American for 19 years. I worked really hard to get to this place, so it's very important that I feel protected. I am not a handy person. My wife would probably be the first one to agree. Having one little thing go awry in our life is devastating. I won't mess with plumbing, and I won't mess with electrical. 
A home warranty is for the everyday things that go wrong in the house. We have the Premier Plan, which covers pretty much everything. My water heater broke recently. The first time I'm leaving my son without me here, and now they don't have hot water. Having First American is like having a handyman at my beck and call. The hot water was up and running within 24 hours. In the middle of the summer, the AC went out. I went on the website, it took me 30 seconds to fill out a form. The next day they came out. I've easily saved $500 to $1,000 a year. It's well worth the cost. Every day life depends on it. Call 1-800-973-5886 for a free quote. If you suffer from everyday aches and pains, turn to the solution millions have trusted to help relieve pain for over 16 years. Omega XL is a powerful, drug-free, natural anti-inflammatory supplement. The secret is, it's sourced from green lip muscles found only in New Zealand that are super rich with over 30 healthy fatty acids, shown in decades of research to reduce pain caused by inflammation. It's small and easy to swallow, potent and effective. Call or click now to get our special offer. Two bottles of Omega XL, a $140 value for only $39.95. But you must act now. All right, folks, welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. John Roberts, United Television Champion. Dan Joseph here with you. And this hour, as you've already seen, we're taking a look at the United Tag Team titles. And, Dan, mm -hmm. there have been so many rivalries between so many teams surrounding the United World Tag Team titles. Yeah, none just like the Friendship Express and the Classic Connection. You talk about two teams. I've wrestled each of these competitors, singles, as a team, and they gel together so well as teams. Everybody wants to get their hands on these tag team titles. And those two teams that we're going to see now, the Friendship Express and the Classic Connection, they butted heads a while to see who would come up on top. Absolutely. It, it was one of the most heated rivalries surrounding the United Tag Team titles. And here is one of those bouts between the Classic Connection and the Friendship Express. Welcome back to the action for our main event. Classic Connection have done an excellent job isolating the hobo and just punishing him in their own corner. And now with the distraction, using the towel to choke out the hobo. That's 21st century old school if I have ever seen it. Levi Shapiro just completely getting in the ring now. We should have three referees out here to take control of this. Hobo trying to create some distance here to get to the tag for Jervis Conley, but no, Levi Shapiro sticking on him. But look, Levi and Buddy Rowe know what it, uh, what it takes to, to take out the Friendship Express. They've had such a historic run, of course, winning those titles against Cold Cold World at the Coastline Clash well over six months ago. Beautiful counter there by the Hobo. Oh, Hobo going for the cover now. And for almost half a year, we've been able to watch the Friendship Express really take the audience here by storm. Yes, they have. Buddy Royal gets himself in this matchup. Well, Missile drop kick right to the shoulder. They really took all the fans by storm well before winning those tag team titles. It was the fans that willed them to have the confidence to challenge for those tag team titles, and they've been incredible. Now a boot right to the face of the hobo. Just incredible teamwork from Shapiro and Royal. Well, this is why. Levi Shapiro and Buddy Royal, they've been able to get so many victories over the Friendship Express. Oh, no. Oh, didn't quite get all of it, but was effective enough. It was enough. Enough body weight on the lumbar spine. Hooks the leg. Hobo able to get the shoulder up. Didn't quite get the elevation he was looking for there. Still, Hobo's skull went right into the mat as he goes for the cover again, using the bottom rope to his advantage. Uh -huh. Still wasn't able to put the Hobo away. Well, look, they've been waiting a long time for this title shot. They're going to pull out every trick they have. Hobo trying to find a way out of this. Look at that. The knee pressed right up against the spine. You hear the chants in the audience trying to will him to make that tag to Jervis, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. Hobo just getting decimated by the classic connection. And this is where you have to wonder, how does Jervis Cottonbelly feel on the opposite side of the ring? Is that insecurity only making itself more apparent? I think Jervis Cottonbelly is chomping at the bit to get back in this matchup to help his friend. We'll have to see. It makes you wonder, is he fearful of the top rope once again? Look oh. at Buddy Royal fish hooking Hobo. Classic connection, doing what they do best, waiting for the referee's back to be turned. Taking full advantage anyway they can. Hobo trying to muscle his way over there, but Levi Shapiro can't even get to his feet. 
Ahmed Shapiro is a big man, very, very strong, strong legs. Able to power Hobo back into the corner. Now Buddy Roll coming in without making the tag. Look at Buddy purposely distracting the referee so Levi Shapiro can have his way with the boxcar superstar. Now Hobo, he oh! made it. Did he make it? Yes, no. he did. Did he? The referee says he did. Are you kidding me? I saw the tag. It looked like a tag to me. The referee must not have seen it. Oh. That's a bogus call. I'm with you, Johnny. I clearly saw the tag there to Jervis Cottonbelly. I don't know how the referee did not see that. Meanwhile, all that did was give another opportunity for Shapiro and Royal to wear down the former Heritage Champion, as you see him, slowly fading away. Hobo so desperately wanted to make a tag there. Does he have anything left in the tank? It's about to be on empty, Joe. Doing whatever he can to fight out of this here, but Levi has an answer. Oh. This hobo through, looking for the pin right here, hooks the leg, and the hobo gets the shoulder up. Very close to having new tag team champions. We've seen the... Uh-oh! Oh no, the claw, it's locked in! Locked right in in the skull! Last time, Jervis threw in the white towel. And that's what put some really big fractures in the foundation of Friendship Express. Look at him just fighting out of desperation, just swinging wildly, but he's connecting. Hobo goes for another one, missed it. Oh no, the claw locked in again. Dead center of the ring, oh no. Looks like Shapiro's trying to get him back in the corner. That's exactly what he did. Tagging in now, Buddy Royal, but he's holding that as there, long as he can. Because the referee, once again, back turned. Classic connection. I mean, they are... They're running a clinic. This on is, Friendship Express. This is this is phenomenal tag team wrestling. It's clockwork, Joe. They're a well-oiled machine. It's not pretty, it's not fair, but it's it's very effective. I, I can't remember the last oh. time I saw Hobo take a beat like minute. this, but he made a tag! He made the tag, and here comes Jervis Cottonbelly! That bunny is on fire! Razzmatazz! This is the chance the Friendship Express so desperately needed. He's got Buddy in the corner. He's got Levi in the corner. It looks like the Friendship Express is back in sync. The train's on the tracks. And here comes Hobo, still with enough strength for a big slam. He's going up top. Oh, no, Jervis Cottonbelly and Levi Shapiro right on top of him. Oh! Hobo able to knock him off. Oh, and there he goes. Buddy Royal sends himself over the top rope. Oh, no. What is you that cotton belly thinking? No, this, this can't possibly be it. No. Walking oh. the tight rope. My oh. God. Jervis Cotton Belly launching himself at Clash and Connection. Not only did he overcome his fear of the top rope once again, he tiptoed the top rope, Joe. But who's gonna be able to take advantage? We got a break, we gotta take it right now. We'll be right back. If the coronavirus can cause this, or this, what's gonna happen when the next crisis occurs? Would it lead to this, or even this? What do you think? What do you think the next devastating economic event is gonna be? And what do you think is going to happen to the value of paper currency? That's going to be worth a lot less. Which means your savings, retirement funds, your IRAs, they're going to be less too. But you can protect yourself right now by calling Great American Gold. They can help you protect what you have by owning gold and precious metals. Because when stocks go down, the value of gold goes up. Precious metals provide a safe haven when the world is in turmoil. You're going to be protected against market crashes, inflation, and world events. So call Great American Gold right now for a free consultation. You get a free investor guide, free investor kit, and up to $3,000 in bonus medals, too. Call 1-800-593-1848. 1-800-593-1848. This has been an incredible main event here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. The Friendship Express finally in control in this matchup. You talk about a blockbuster of an episode we just had a spirit to pull off a shocker in a two out of three falls match. Now we have the tag team titles aligned and Jervis Cottonbelly is wailing away, tagging in the hobo. 
Levi Shapiro still, oh, there he grabs the foot of the hobo. The dirty tricks of Classic Connection, isolating hobo once again. Ah, the double axe handle in the back, and now the suplex. There was a lot of impact with that suplex. That might have been enough if Buddy Royal went for the pin. The Connection is feeling it. And speaking of titles, we can't Wait, forget. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what's wait. he pulling out of his boots? Oh, no, he's got some sort of weapon that, what is that? What is he doing? I don't know, even know what he's got there. He's got some sort of foreign object. Oh, are you kidding oh. me? Some sort of powder oh! right in the face of Levi Shapiro. Buddy Royal just completely blinds his own partner. Oh no, he's locked in the claw. He's locked in the claw on his own partner. The hobo, meanwhile, tagging in Jervis Scott Belly. Double drop kick. Sends Buddy outside the ring. Levi's still the legal man. Levi's still the legal man. Can't hobo capitalize. He's just swinging at nothing. And the boxcar superstar connects. With the street preacher and the buddy stop! Oh, he got all of it! He got all of it! Cover him, Jervis! This could be it! Jervis crawl into the cover! Here we One, go! Two, three, got him! The champs retain! Match and still United Tag Team Champions, the Hobo and Jervis Catbelly, the Friendship Express! Friendship Express victorious in this Woo! huge main event here. Just when we thought they were in dire straits, they oh, find a way. Whoa, wait. wait a minute. It's Ty Matthews and Eric Watts. Are you kidding me? Wait a oh. minute. Oh, no. Attack from behind. Jervis Cottonbelly trying to defend himself. Eric Watts. Massive choke slam. Are they about to cash no. in? No way. Not after that match. Not after Classic Connection took so much out of them. They're doing no. it. They're doing it. No way! Wait a minute, is Eric, Eric Watts is trying to win the tag team titles? Is Ty Matthews his partner? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, no. our PP3 Cup title holder is using Percy's privilege. This contest, one fall for the tag team what? championship. Yes, he is! No way! It's official! After that sort of match, there's no way! Hobo trying to break things up! Look at Ty Matthews, he's not on the apron, it's just Eric Watts. I don't understand what is happening here, but they might have a chance here. It's two on one. But the damage has been done. I mean, they got decimated by the Classic Connection. That was one of the hardest fought battles they've ever had defending their titles here. The train's about to leave the station, this could be it. Oh, oh. Watts sending him right into the steel post. Right into the post. Oh, Hobo's laid out. Jervis Cottonbelly's, oh no, big boot to Jervis. Oh no. Meanwhile, the hobo's completely out outside the ring. Oh, you gotta be kidding no. me. Don't spell it out, don't. D-O-A. Oh no. Your winners and the new United Wrestling Network Tag Team Champions, Ty Matthews and Eric. What? what? I, can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, Johnny. Quite possibly the most shocking PP3 Cup cash in ever. How is one man the tag team champions? Eric Watts is holding both titles. Is this what Ty Matthews plan has been the whole time? Joe, the vision is now clear. Ty Matthews has been saying for months that we would know the power of hyper optimism would hit its apex when it happened in that moment is right now. Hey folks, John Roberts from the United Wrestling Network, and boy, do we have new and exciting things for you. We've got all kinds of brand new content for you that comes out every single week on The Push. You know that when you watch a Navajo Warrior match, you're gonna know that you saw a fight. We dig into the vault for Heritage Hall. It's about to be a partial goal for the middle. Ah! Oh my goodness. He just spit right in the man's hey! face. Hey! Come on, here's the cover. Two. We're bringing you all kinds of new and exciting content every single week. In our organization, the over-the-top rope is still a disqualification. And they were going all crazy, house of fire, this and that. And they threw both of them out of the ring. And I remember Pierce was, uh, uh, was booking the show at the time. And I just looked over to the side at Adam because I was directing the TV. And he looked at me and I said, I guess we have to ring the bell. And then they beat the hell out of me.
It's the biggest disgrace in wrestling history. An untrained actor wins the most prestigious championship. His involvement in wrestling hurt his career. I want to clear my name and honor wrestling. Two years ago, it's a heart attack. A year later, it's a death match. What does that mean for next year? One last time, I have to really prove myself. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my passion has always been to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. TV has helped my pillow become the amazing company that it is today. So my employees and I want to thank you with some of our best prices ever. Go to MyPillow.com right now and click on TV specials. You'll get deep discounts on my pillows, mattress topper sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99 for only $29.99 with your promo code. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. John Roberts, United Television Champion, Dan Joseph. and Finally. Dan, it's finally main event time. Finally main event time. We finally get to see one of, if not the greatest tag team that has ever graced the United Wrestling ring. I'm talking, of course, about the Pack 3. That's right. Pack 3, one of the most prominent and proficient tag teams we've ever seen in the United Wrestling Network, and they're featured in our main event in and around the United World Tag Team Championships. Hey, Dana, how about a... You want to bring it in? Pack 3 on 3? Pack 3 on 3. One, two, three. Pack 3! Pack 3 is back and in full force, Johnny. Dylan Bostic not benched. We're getting the full team here, minus... Clarence, their water boy, who was fired by Coach Flexo. Gotta wonder if hydration's gonna play into our main event. I mean, I certainly think it would. I thought Clarence did a fantastic job for them, but, you know, when you lose a match, especially losing the United World Tag Team titles, sometimes the coach has to make changes, and Clarence was the first one to go. Here they are, your United Wrestling Network World Tag Team Champions. Reno Scum, this is gonna be an exciting matchup. Reno Scum made a, a very big point at the beginning of this broadcast. They are ready for anything and everything Pac-3 can throw at them. You better believe it, what a blockbuster main event. We've already seen Sway Thompson and Andy Brown move on to the semifinals of the PP3 Cup. But now you have Adam Thornstone, lust of the legend. Joe, they've been champions all over the country, but becoming the United World Tag Team Champions has been a long time coming in their eyes, and they sure picked a grand stage to do it at Milestone. Let's kick it to Angel Castillo for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your main event and is for the United Wrestling Network World Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, to my right, the challengers hailing from the gridiron at a combined weight of 406 and three quarter pounds, Dylan Bostic, Flex McCallion, Pack Three. And introducing to my left, the defending champions hailing from Reno, Nevada, weighing at a combined weight of 470 pounds, Adam Thornstow, Luster the Legend, Reno Scum! Oh, and look at this, Pack 3 with the jump start, even Coach Flexo in this match! That's right, he benched Dan Joseph once again, another 
I, I, you could say questionable coaching decision from Flexo. Oh, oh meeting of the minds. What a, bra a brain yes. trust, if you will. <laughs> Not sure how many brain cells Coach Flexo had to begin with, but he's definitely missing a few now as he gets dumped to the outside. Luster the legend going to work against Dylan Bostic. I gotta say, it's a strange sight to see without them holding the tag team titles. But, I mean... I'm not surprised to see Reno Scum. They have made it very clear for a couple of years now that they wanted a shot. They wanted their opportunity at the United World Tag Team Championship, and here they stand today, your champion. And you're right, I mean, so many teams show in the past, oh wow, <laughs> Lust of the Legend using his head there. Many teams have tried to outsmart the playbook of Coach Flex, but Reno Scum, they're the only team that found the winning scheme. Well, then you've got Coach Flexo who blamed their loss. Oh, Bostic oh. is not happy with Coach Flex, you saw him John there. There's some real dissension in the ranks of Pac-3. Well, Bostic says the only reason they even lost the titles is because he wasn't there. Well, you have to agree that that's how they won the titles, was being the team of Dan Joseph and Dylan Bostic. And arguably, Dickie Mayer having a big part of it, too, using Percy's privilege. And now Flex getting out of the ring as quick as he possibly can. Now, Bostic was not exactly reaching for the tag there. As once again, Luster using his brain. I don't think there is really a game plan here. I think this is very frantic. Dan Joseph being on the outside of this matchup. Obviously, they're very upset. This is not the game plan. This is not the winning game plan that Pac-3 had. No, I mean, on the gridiron, there's no way you can win when a team is in dissension. And thus far, I, I gotta say, I'm shocked at the lack of communication. You see Dan Joseph is, is livid outside the ring, not being involved oh. in this match, as they beat down Dylan It's the biggest little beat down from these big men from Reno, Nevada. Clubbing blows to Dylan Bostic, who has just been at the absolute mercy of these two, being pummeled as he goes from the cover, only gets one. I mean, Thornstow and Luster are proving that you spend even 30 seconds in the ring with these two, you'll have another reason to never want to go to Reno. And there's plenty Ooh. of them. Reno Scum calling the biggest little town their home, bringing these... United World Tag Team titles back home there. A lot of other nicknames you can give for Reno and Nevada. That's <laughs> Dylan Bostic now in the wrong corner, absolutely being punished by Luster the Legend. Joe, I don't know what strategy, besides attacking immediately, I don't know what other strategy Pac-3 had, but... Well, it's such a bizarre substitution for a coach to put himself in. Do you think, you know... The, the, it's just not something that you're supposed to do. You let your boys handle the work. Look, in the past, I've compared... Oh, oh my. Beautiful standing moonsault. Look, in the past, I've compared Coach Flex to Vince Lombardi, Bill Belichick, Phil Jackson, but I don't think any one of those men would have made a coaching yeah. change like this. Bill Belichick doesn't say, you know what, Gronk, sit it out. I'll go catch the ball. Well, you can't play with a hoodie, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean... It Shoulder into the midsection oh, with the double stop. The Montello spike. That's what they call it. Huge maneuver. Could be enough. Dan Joseph crawling in from the outside. Not a legal man in this matchup. Could have got the disqualification. But actually saving the matchup there. And Thornstow says, come on in. I mean, I, Pack 3 needs to regroup. They need to huddle it up. They're, their strategy should be to run away and be elusive, but Dylan Bostic is just being it pummeled. Dylan Bostic trying to fight back, but Thornstow staying on top. We have to take a break. This is our main event. We'll be right back. Attention, states are now requiring you to always wear a face mask in public. Stop wasting money on disposable masks you throw away every day. Introducing Copper Shape, the smart technology copper infused mask that is reusable, machine washable, lightweight, and comfortable. Copper is one of the oldest, most effective antibacterial, antiviral substances on earth. Now you can maximize safety while harnessing all the power of copper. Call or go online now and order your Copper Shape reusable face mask for as little as $9.99. They ship immediately from the USA. 
Copper Shape's breathable form-fitted design gives you all-day comfort with the properties of copper-infused fabric designed to fit everyone. To order, call now and get your own Copper Shape face mask for as low as $9.99, and the shipping is free. You can save over $30 with this special TV offer. Call now or go online at GetCoppershape.com. They are not sold in stores, ships immediately, and are fully guaranteed. So call now. Ready for action in the squared circle. Stars from around the wrestling world. We are witnessing a classic between two of the best. We have made history here tonight. Look at this atmosphere. Incredible. We're going to come out here and find out who the real man is. In circumstance, from coast to coast and around the globe, the history's gonna be made. Welcome back to our main event Reno Scum taking on Pack 3 into the cover. The United Wrestling Network World Tag Team titles are on the line. And it was more of the same during the commercial break. Lust of the Legend still in complete control. Dylan Bostic in deep trouble. He's got the half Nelson hammer lock in. Pity City! Hey, there it is! Oh, man! First class ticket. The smells, the odor, the... Dylan Bostic just had to endure. Ugh. Thorstow over the top. The athleticism of Thorstow into the cover. Coach Flexo forced to break things up. And Reno Scum, if they had a strategy, they're executing it to perfection. I will say this, when Reno Scum are on the same page, they have a combination of power and quickness no team in wrestling can compete with. When they're firing in all cylinders, Pac-3 can't even breathe, as you can see right now. But Dan Joseph with the distraction, Dylan Bostic finally getting a shot from behind. And now Pac-3 able to capitalize, even Dylan Bostic getting some cheap shots in. Senior official Nick Bonanno had his back turned. Pack 3 trying to cut any corner that they possibly can. They have to. What else can you do against Thornstone and Legend? 100%. This has been a one-sided matchup since the bell rang. And the crowd here at the Ocean View Pavilion showing their love for Reno Scum. The OI chants echoing throughout the arena. And you see the anger and the fury in Dylan Bosick's face. Goes for the leg there, only a one count. Trying to sneak a pinfall in there. Thornstone just... So much of a veteran knows exactly what's going on at all times. That's right. a big man on campus, and he was livid that they lost those titles without him at Milestone. And look at this. Coach Flexo wants to get in this matchup. Dylan Bostic hesitant. The question oh, is, look at that. Wow. Blatant bite right to the face. Oh, now he tags. I, I wonder, is that a lack of trust we're seeing there between Bostic and Coach? It has to be something. I mean, but now Coach Flexo. You see Dan Joseph and Bostic having a conversation, but something isn't right. We've never quite seen Pac-3 like Nonetheless, Coach Flex is in control. Now yeah, you gotta be careful not to get disqualified. Tags, Dylan Bostic didn't even have his hand out. Just slapped him in the chest and said, go get him. Okay. That's not the cohesion that you need for a winning tag team, John. No, especially against Reno Scott. Bostic, you see him desperately trying to keep Thornstow away from the opposite corner. Can't blame him there. Thornstow getting the separation, though. Got some breathing room, but look at that. The fingers digging right into the face. And now just pummeling forearms into the chest, into the sternum. Oh, the referee's back there. And Dan Joseph in this matchup once again, choking the life out of Adam Thornstow. Now, I will say this for pack three. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. Only got one. This match has turned Pac-3 into street brawlers. We have never seen an aggressive side like this before. Oh, look at that me. abdominal stretch. Oh, look at that, looking for extra oh, leverage. He's trying to tag Dan Joseph in. Dan, this is, we've seen this before from Pac-3. This is not Freebird rules, oh! And Coach Flexo pays for his sins right there. Instant karma, tried to get the extra leverage. You saw and it. here comes Luster, the legend oh. takes out. Dylan Bostic seeing stars on the outside. You saw Flex try to tag Dan Joseph in as if that was even legal. He made the choice to bench Dan Joseph. And now Dylan Bostic trying to come in for the save, but runs into a boot. Not a good decision. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Fisherman Brain Buster! Oh, 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 oh. oh man! Oh, boy. Oh, that look out. Oh, what? What is Lester thinking here? Oh, just tied up in the tree of woe. What is Luster thinking? Oh, no. No way. A razor's edge. Incoming. Oh, oh, my God. No way. Using Dylan Bostic as a weapon, launching him into Coach Flexo. Meanwhile, Flex and wow. Bostic just trying to hang on to each other. <laughs> Pack three's being absolutely destroyed by Reno Scum. Side rush and leg sweep. Oh, you s that's the legend shifter. He's got it locked in. Submission maneuver. Look at the face and of Coach Flex. And Coach Flex on taps. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners and still United Wrestling Network Tag Team Champions, Reno Scum. Dan Joseph cannot just got their butts handed to them. You know, Joe, the old saying goes back to the drawing board, but for pack three, this could mean back to the back of the line. I mean, they lost the rematch. I don't know what this means. You see the, the frustration in the face of Dan Joseph, the utter disappointment, wondering what if, what if he was in this match and not Coach Flex, and I don't blame him. Coach Flexo made a huge calculating error in the last matchup, the first time they went up against Reno Scum. Made the same mistake again, had the same outcome. Reno Scum is still your tag team champions. Look at Dan Joseph trying to come to the aid. Dylan Bostic, I don't even know how he could be conscious after that move. And, and Dylan Bostic's completely decimated. Coach Flex got locked in that legend shifter, which is just a lethal maneuver. It's, it's a camel clutch mixed with a million dollar dream, and it, there's no way anyone's getting out of that. Coach Flexo, dazed, confused, ain't barely able to get to his feet. I mean, Coach Flex lost a shoe for crying out loud. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? What? What is he doing? How can Coach Flexo be mad? He's the one who tapped out. He's the one who made this call. And he has no idea that Reno Scum are there. Oh, it does now. Oh, uh -oh. Boy. oh, no, 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 no. And look at that. Dan and Dylan just watching. Luster the legend decimate them. They are leaving Coach oh, Flex. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look out. They're looking to the double stop. My God. The oh, Reno Scum stop. Are you kidding uh -oh. me? Oi, oi, oi. Reno Scum victorious really? over Pat. Three really? for the United World Tag Team titles. How many title defenses? How many title defenses did Pac-3 win? And that's the one that you guys decide to show on the show. Come on. Dan, Reno Scum are the guys who took the titles to China. They made them world tag team titles. They made them world tag team titles. I get you, I get you. But that's the one you had to show. Right. It is. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for this week on the program. We look forward to seeing you again next week right here on this station at the same time for Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. I'm John Roberts alongside United Television Champion Dan Joseph. I'm pretty sure he's going to kill me right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week.